Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Bad at night. Looking at the camera. Good, good, good. Preloaders, VI preloaders, welcome back to the channel, guys. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with me, and you notice by now, or at least you should, for those of you that are new to this channel, welcome to you as well. My name's Robert, I'm a retired NYPD Highway Patrol Motorcycle Lieutenant, and the name of this wonderful channel is Be the Boss of Your Motorcycle. And I got a good one for you today, guys, because I know it's going to answer a lot of the questions that some of you have regarding this shot right here. Um, how do I get this vantage point on the motorcycle? Is there a drone following me? Um, do, did I hire a camera crew? <laughs> I've gotten all the questions, guys, and today I'm going to not only introduce a new product to you, but I'm gonna to talk to you about the product I used to make these shots. Okay, so let me start out by saying that yes, it's a 360 camera that I'm using. I own a GoPro Hero 9, I believe. Maybe it's a 10. I don't even know, that's how infrequently I use it. Um, and I don't use my GoPro because A, the battery life sucks, it's, it's just that simple. I actually have about eight batteries because in the beginning of my recording YouTube videos, my plan was I'm going to use this GoPro a lot. Um, but then the Insta360 camera came out, uh, or at least it came to my attention because it was actually out prior to that. And once I got this camera, guys, it changed the way I looked at everything. Now, people that do moto vlogging, a lot of the times you'll see they have more than one GoPro. They'll have one on the chin of the helmet. Another one on the helmet, so you get two different perspectives, right? But if something is happening on the road that they want to capture on that video, um, unless they turn their head to see it, which now, of course, is not safe because they're not looking where they're going, you're not going to get that shot. Well, of course, with a 360 camera, you're going to get everything. Everything is possible to get, and I'm going to talk to you guys about that um, a little later in this video. But first, I want to talk to you about the Insta360 ONE X2, because that's the camera that I use. Um, and I love the fact that this camera is slim in design, right? So it's going to make it more aerodynamic, meaning it's not going to have so much drag. Even if you have it like this, right? The wind is not going to, it's not going to be too bad. Now, of course, it would be better to have it like this. And the good thing about a 360 camera is there is a stitch line, right? You will be able to see a stitch line in some shots if you record like this. So whatever you really want to record, make sure that one of the lenses are pointing at it and then it'll create, it's going to get everything anyway, right? And listen, at the end of the day, what's most important to me is that I get the shot, that I get to show what I wanted you to see. Even if it has a stitch line, even if it has imperfections, I don't care because I'd rather have an imperfect shot to show you than nothing at all. Uh, back to the answer of how did I get that shot? Let me show you guys this. Okay, so here's the Insta360 camera, right? Um, and this is also made by Insta360. You see, it looks like a weight belt, right? Or a championship belt. And it has this um, carbon fiber looking uh, selfie stick. They call it an invisible selfie stick. Of course, the stick is not invisible, but because of the stitch line, right? The sides of the camera, right, right here, that's what's lined up with this pole. And this camera has the ability to uh, block this out of the shot. And that's why you don't see anything unless you see a shadow, which just makes the shot look awesome. I'm sure you guys can agree to that. And all you simply do is I take this belt, I put it around my waist. This part is also adjustable. So um, I can adjust this. Like right now, you can see right here, this is if the belt is straight on me. Notice how the stick is slanted backward. That's how I like it because I like the view of, if you guys are familiar with Grand Theft Auto, right, GTA, 
that perspective, that vantage point, I love that. I don't like the pole to be real high up where you're looking at the top of me. I like it to look like you're a little bit above and a little bit behind. And that's how I get it with this. And, you know, you can put this as high as you want. Again, I don't like it too high, but, you know, it, you look, look at that. I mean, <laughs> I know this is out of the frame now. It is still going. <laughs> I'll see if you guys can get the perspective of how long that is. I don't know why anybody would ever need it that long, but that you have that option. <clears throat> but also keep in mind that the belt is one thing and this is another. You can unscrew this and put on any type of selfie stick that you want. But anyway, that's how I get that shot, guys. Um, I hope that helped you out. All right, let's talk about this new product. So this is the Insta360 ONE X3, right? And at first I thought, that's ah, it's probably the same thing until I actually looked into this. And let's check this out, guys. All right, guys, so here's the box. And if you guys are not familiar with the X2, ah, look at that, guys. So that's a nice looking camera. And I can already tell, again, if you're not familiar with the ONE X2, one of the differences here that's extremely obvious is the screen. Now here's the ONE X2. Matter of fact, let me take the cover off of it. This is a lens cover that's uh, an option to protect the lens. Look at the difference in the screen, right? The X2 has that little round screen. And then this one right here, this is like, that's, oh my God, it's a huge difference. So that's one of the differences. You can see you have some buttons right here at the bottom that you don't have here. If you look at the side, that's a power button, and that's all that was here. There's another button here. I have no idea what that does. I'll find out eventually. Um, this is a speaker. And then on this side, um, this still has a label on it, but this is the battery that comes out. And again, that's another thing. The battery life on these are just awesome. Awesome, awesome. I did a group ride recently, the global group ride, and I had my GoPro running, fresh battery, and my Insta360 ONE X2. The ONE X2, I had it recording from the start until we got to our destination, and no issues. The GoPro, starting and stopping, like not recording regularly, starting and stopping, the battery was almost dead by the time I got there, so. Um, and this is actually heavier. This is a heavier camera than this, so it's a little bit more going on in here. I believe this one has a better camera. Both of them record in 5.7K, right, which is cool, but it's important to know that when you zoom this camera in, it's gonna lose some of the resolution, right? It's, I mean, most cameras do that. It all depends on what you're shooting as far as how important that is to you. Like I said, priority to me is that you actually see what I want you to see. If it's not as crisp, you know, that's fine with me. So guys, I'm here to tell you that this camera has a ton of features. I mean, a bunch of stuff that I don't even use, but it's available for use. And what really makes this camera shine is the uh, Insta360 app, because that's where all the magic happens. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna go out, I'm going to take a quick ride, I'm gonna put the camera on the end of the uh, selfie stick with the belt, and first I'm gonna do it with the X2, and then I'm gonna do it with the X3, and we're gonna compare and see if we see any differences. And then I'm gonna edit those videos, and all of the editing happens right on my phone, and it's actually fun, and you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about when I show you. All right, so, Let's get on the bike. All right, guys, so. And this is another thing I like about the Insta360. You don't have to worry about uh, dealing with, uh, you guys know how those GoPros are where you, you have to use those tools to, you know, you can use your hand, but it's never tight enough, so you have to use something else, and you have to make sure those things are properly seated so that you can slide the screw through it and tight. You know, you don't have to worry about all that with the Insta360. It's a simple, just like a camera, you know, simple. Uh, screw on, bam, and it's ready to go. Put it around your waist, it's Velcro. Now, this thing also has voice recognition. Uh, you can control it with that. It, can, it also has a remote control. These are optional things that you can use. It's a quick record, all you have to do is hit the record button, but I would do that. I would extend it before I did that. And then I'm looking up at the camera, I'm like, crap. <laughs> and I didn't have the voice recognition activated. So you see I have the belt on, let me hit record. You'll hear a beep. Light turns blue, then it turns green, 
and now it's red, it's recording, blinking red to let me know it's recording. And I can put it up as high as I want, you know. So that's pretty good. You know, I don't need it too high. Um, and I can position it however I want. I usually keep it straight. And then I position it on me so it's right behind me, right but in line with my spine. And now I do the final tightening of the belt, depending on how tight I want it. The tighter you make it, the less it's going to move. All right, now let's get on the bike. Go for a quick ride. guys so both the 1x2 and the 1x3 shoot in 5.7 uh, K you can also shoot in 4k um, so I'm not expecting too much of a difference although I did hear that this one has the x3 has a better lens or something like that so we'll see but now I want to edit the videos that I just did and I want to show you guys how much fun it is so I'm gonna take you kind of behind the scenes of what I do and I do it usually sitting in my man cave spinning around in my office chair like I said, everything happens within the app. Once you finish recording on the camera, the only thing that I do referring to the camera and editing is I just turn the camera on. Once the camera's on and I go into the app, the uh, camera actually sends out a Wi-Fi signal. And once it's detected in the app, I can sync up to the camera. And then everything I do, I can control the camera from my phone. You can even record from the camera and instead of using the camera's viewfinder you can use your phone so like i said a lot of stuff you can do um initially you have to download the app and activate the camera through the app which i've already done so now let's find the video that i just did all right guys so once you are in the app turn on the camera and whatever camera you turn on meaning you see it says X3 on the screen, uh, but if you had the X2, you would see the X2. Or if you had to go to, that would show up. So that's the good thing. Once that happens, you're going to hit the yellow button that's in the middle of the screen that has a picture of a camera on it and a Wi-Fi signal. Once you do that, it's going to show up. You see the go to is down there as well. Um, and now it's going to connect the phone via Bluetooth, you see right there it says join. It wants you to join that, that Wi-Fi network. You hit join. And then it's gonna to connect to the camera. Now it's, because this camera is new, 
it's going to do a firmware update. Um, and, you know, once the firmware update's done, you can move on. You're not going to have to see that again unless another firmware update comes up. Once the firmware update is complete, then it's going to move into a install of the firmware. Once the firmware install is complete, it's going to prompt you to reconnect the device. And for that, all you have to do is turn off the camera, turn it back on, and it will reconnect. So right now it's reconnecting. It's going to once again ask me to join the uh, Wi-Fi signal that the camera is sending. And once you hit join, it's going to bring you into the camera. It's going to show you the uh, the any recordings that you may have on that SD card. And right here you can see I have two and they both say Friday because I recorded two things, one by mistake. You can see it says about one second. Or I don't even think it says one second. Yeah. And then the other one is the longer one. So that's the one we're going to click on. And once I click it, now I'm into that video. I can I move it forward to where I want it. And you can see right here, this is a 9 by 16 aspect ratio. To full 360, I can move with my finger on the screen up, down. I can zoom it in by pinching. Um, move it out. Uh, do whatever I want with it. It's very easy. Um, and I normally record in 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So I'll switch it to that because that's what I use for YouTube. But I can leave it in the 916 if I want to do a video for Instagram or TikTok or a YouTube short. Now, this is me. I'm showing you guys my screen. I'm recording it um, from another device. But see how it doesn't look stable? It's moving around, and that's because my hand is moving. Wherever I physically move, see what it's doing? It's as if I'm live with the camera, but I'm not. This is the recording. And that's because it records everything. It's recording 360 degrees the whole time. Um, and I can decide what I want in the frame. So really, that's where the fun comes in because I'm actually moving where I want it to be. It's almost like a helicopter pilot. They can move the gun with whatever they look at. So if I move up, it's going to move up. I'm not touching any buttons. If I move down, it's going to move down. If I zoom it in, zoom it out, like I can do all of that. This is awesome. So now if I hold the red button, see that record button? And it's kind of zoomed in. So I can push it to the right to zoom it out. See, and as it's moving, all I have to do is physically move. And that's where the camera's gonna go. All right? I can zoom it in, out. See? I'm physically moving my body. Like when I make this next turn, if I don't move, watch what happens. See? I didn't physically move, and now I'm out of the frame. But if I move over, there it is. I can zoom it in. If I wanna see down, move my body down, move my hands down. Like it's just awesome, awesome technology. So you can imagine how convenient this is. And when I'm done, if I let go of the button, it stops right there. And if I wanna keep that, see the plus, I'm, not, I'm sorry, see the check mark? I hit that check mark and then I can trim it and then export it right to my camera roll. So guys, the pictures look good, but the biggest, for me at least, the biggest pro about this camera is, um, well, actually, there's more than one pro for me. One of them is I won't miss anything. Put the camera on my handlebars, on that stick, on the back of the motorcycle, because there's a plethora of different options that are provided by Insta360 that you can use to put it on your motorcycle if that's what you're going to use it for. Stick it on top of your car. Like, you can use this for anything, right? But I'm never going to miss what I really want to see, and that's what's great. Um, but then not only that, as a content creator... The, the most daunting task that we have to deal with is editing. Um, and this just makes it so much easier for me to do. And like I said, a little bit of fun too. I can actually look around and put it exactly where I want it. Zoom it in, zoom it out. You can add effects. It's just so much you can do, guys. And then once that's all said and done, trim it, which is also easy. And then export it right to my camera roll. And, what, and when it goes into my camera roll on my iPhone, that's where all my other videos that I record are anyway very easily transport that into my software to uh, do my video. It's just, it's so, so easy, guys. And I have so much more to learn about it. I saw something that said Clarity Plus. There's already a Color Plus, but now I see something that says Clarity Plus, and I'm interested to see how that works too as far as clearing up the video. So listen, guys, 
This is an awesome camera. I want to thank Insta360 for providing me with this camera so that I can share it with you guys um, and really show you the benefits that this camera has. I think it's a home run. They knock it out of the park. And now here's how you guys can get one. All right, so from April 6th to the 19th, they're having a spring sale. Um, and if you use the affiliate code that I'm going to put in the description section, all right, you're going to be able to get a free selfie stick along with this camera. Also, there's a 10% discount on selected accessories for the camera. And again, there's just a bunch of accessories you can get for this camera. If you ride a motorcycle and you're planning on doing anything on the motorcycle, the, uh, there's a motorcycle bundle kit that has a bunch of stuff for you to attach it to your different parts of your motorcycle. So that's definitely beneficial. Again, guys, make sure you visit this website right here. Um, check out everything they have, but I definitely want you to look at this uh, X3 because it's definitely a uh, step up from the X2. If you have the X2, it's still cool, right? But this is definitely an upgrade. There's no doubt about that. All right, so make sure you take advantage of this sale, guys. And that's going to do it for me. Put in the comment section, if you have an Insta360 camera, let me know what you think about it. Let me know any pros or cons that you have with it uh, and anything that, I don't know, maybe you can teach me something that I don't know. I'm always looking for new and better ways to do things. And more importantly, more efficient ways of doing things. All right, guys, spend more time being thankful for the things that you have and less time complaining about the things that you don't. If you're not subscribed to this channel, guys, please do so. It helps me out. Hit the like button, share these videos, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I put out a new video. Seat time doesn't equal practice time, guys. If you have time to ride your motorcycle, please make time to practice on it. Until next time.